Did you know the iPhone in your pocket started its life deep in the ground as tiny bits of gold and rare materials? Think about it, something so simple and sleek actually comes from all over the world. The gold might come from a mine in South America, the cobalt from Africa, and the glass from sand turned into one of the strongest materials on Earth. How do all these parts from so many places come together to create the phone billions of people use every day? The process is mind-blowing, and once you hear the full story, you'll never look at your iPhone the same way again. Step 1. Mining the raw materials The iPhone's journey starts deep underground, where raw materials like gold, cobalt, and lithium are mined. These materials are found in different parts of the world. Gold often comes from South America, cobalt from Africa, and lithium from Australia. Each of these is crucial for the phone's functionality. Gold is used to make tiny, efficient circuits because it's an excellent conductor of electricity, while cobalt and lithium power the phone's rechargeable battery. Silicon, made from refined sand, becomes the foundation for the powerful microchips that run the iPhone. Extracting these materials is just the beginning. They undergo multiple refining processes to ensure they meet Apple's strict quality standards. What's fascinating is how these tiny elements, often invisible to the naked eye, play a massive role in creating a device billions of people rely on every day. Step 2. Designing the iPhone Before a single component is built, Apple's team of engineers and designers in California spends years perfecting each iPhone model. They focus on everything, how the phone feels in your hand, the smoothness of the screen, and even the sound quality of the speakers. The process involves countless prototypes, each tested for performance, durability, and style. For example, the design team ensures the glass screen is not only scratch-resistant, but also strong enough to survive accidental drops. They even test it against water to make it more reliable in everyday use. The A-Series chip, which powers the iPhone, is custom designed to handle tasks like gaming, video recording, and photo editing without lag. Every tiny detail, from the curve of the corners to the placement of the buttons, is a result of years of testing and refinement. Step 3. Manufacturing the components Once the design is finalized, it's time to make the iPhone's individual parts. Apple works with top manufacturers worldwide to create specific components. For example, the OLED display is made in South Korea while the advanced A-series processor is built in Taiwan. The glass used for the screen starts as silica, melted and treated to become one of the toughest materials available. The tiny camera lenses are crafted with precision so they can capture clear, detailed photos and videos. Even the smallest screws and buttons are manufactured with high accuracy to ensure they fit perfectly. Factories use state-of-the-art machines to produce these components, with tolerances so fine they're measured in nanometers, Every part is checked for quality before moving on to the next step, ensuring everything works seamlessly together. Step 4. Assembling the iPhone After all the components are made, they are shipped to massive assembly factories, primarily in China. Foxconn, one of Apple's main partners, is responsible for putting the iPhone together. This process combines cutting-edge robotics with human expertise. Robotic arms handle the delicate placement of parts like the processor, while skilled workers connect the screen, battery, and camera. What's impressive is the level of precision. Robots and workers align each component to the millimeter. Once the assembly is complete, the iPhone starts to take shape as a fully functional device. This step also involves rigorous testing. Every phone is checked for defects and machines run simulations to ensure the buttons, screen, and sensors work perfectly. By the end of this stage, what started as separate pieces becomes a sleek, functional smartphone. Step 5. Installing the software The hardware is only part of what makes an iPhone special. Once the phone is assembled, it's time to install Apple's operating system, iOS. This software is what makes the iPhone so user-friendly and powerful. The installation process is automated and extremely precise, with each phone receiving the latest version of iOS during assembly. After the software is installed, the iPhone is tested again to ensure it runs smoothly. Features like Face ID, Siri, and the App Store are checked to make sure everything works as intended. What's amazing is that iOS is optimized for each phone, making even older models feel fast and reliable. Without this step, the iPhone would just be a collection of hardware. It's the software that brings it to life and makes it an indispensable tool for millions of users. Step 6. Testing and Quality Control 
Quality is one of Apple's top priorities, and every iPhone goes through rigorous testing before it leaves the factory. Specialized machines test the durability of the screen, the sensitivity of the touchscreen, and even the performance of the camera in different lighting conditions. Did you know iPhones are dropped repeatedly during testing to ensure they can survive everyday accidents? Battery life is also tested under heavy usage to guarantee it meets Apple's standards. Software tests are run to check for any bugs or glitches. If an iPhone doesn't pass any of these tests, it's sent back for repairs or adjustments. By the end of this step, only the best performing devices move forward, ensuring every iPhone delivers the seamless experience Apple is known for. Step 7. Packaging the iPhone. After passing all tests, the iPhone is ready for packaging. Apple's packaging process is as sleek and efficient as the phone itself. Robotic systems carefully place the iPhone, charging cable, and documents into the iconic white box. The packaging isn't just for looks, it's designed to protect the phone during shipping. Fun fact, even the way the box opens and the phone is displayed is carefully planned to create a premium unboxing experience. The packaged phones are then loaded onto pallets and sent to distribution centers worldwide. Each box is tracked to ensure it reaches its destination on time. This step brings the iPhone one step closer to its final owner, ready to be unwrapped and put to use. Step 8. Shipping and Distribution the journey of an iPhone doesn't end at the factory. Once packaged, the phones are shipped to Apple stores, warehouses, and retailers across the globe. Some are flown on planes to reach distant markets, while others travel by ship or truck. Apple uses advanced logistics to ensure that iPhones are delivered efficiently, minimizing delays. The journey can span thousands of miles, from factories in Asia to stores in North America, Europe, or Africa. By the time an iPhone reaches a store, it's gone through months of work and traveled halfway around the world. This global effort ensures that millions of people can have their iPhones on launch day, ready to experience the technology that started as an idea in California. And that's the incredible journey of how an iPhone is made, from raw materials buried deep underground to the sleek device in your hand. It's amazing how much science, craftsmanship, and teamwork go into something we use every day without a second thought. If you found this story as fascinating as we did, hit that subscribe button and join us for more behind the scenes stories about the things that shape our world. Who knows, the next video might just change the way you see something else you use daily. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.